Hi everyone, Day here, and welcome back to my Gunosia Let's Play. Yes, yeah, so I actually looked up the Japanese Nintendo Direct that aired how to actually pronounce it, and I listened to the, the the speaker a few times to see if I could like try to copy how he said it a few times. And for my American accent, Gunosia is probably the best way I would be able to say it. And yes, the G is definitely pronounced. So, with that said, um, I just want to thank everyone for your comments, playing along. It's just, it's been encouraging me to continue on making these episodes, and I hope that I can continue to engage and also interest you with what I do, even when I make mistakes. So right now, we have the setup option open. Um, this is loop number 12, I believe. And so now I actually get to choose which role I want. I could be an AC follower, engineer, doctor, guardian angel. And so um, we'll have two Gnosia this time, and we'll have 13 crew members. So I believe I want to be, I would love to be the Gnosia again, but I think for this round, I want to be doctor. For I was on, was, was that, no, I wasn't doctor. So yeah, I think I want to be the doctor this time, just to see what it's like. So yeah, we're loop number 12. All right, let's begin. A fight to the death between mankind and Gnosia. Um, what a cute um dolphin! What a cute dolphin! <laughs> that mankind does does that include me? <laughs> oh, oh yeah. As for Otome, um, hmm, I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, my battery's dying. Hopefully, I can make it through this episode. I don't know where my charger is. Can a dolphin even be affected by Gnosia? I, uh, I don't know. I don't really know much about this Gnosia either. I believe we should assume that Otome is also capable of being affected by Gnosia. Yes, if we can't be sure, then that would be safest. We need to factor in that risk. Also, I, I think she's human. What do you think, Eugenia? Mm, if what separates mankind from animals is intelligence and consciousness, then yes, I agree. Yes, I can feel intelligence in Otome. I don't feel much coming from Shigemichi and Comet, however. Huh? Is Shigemichi like human? Hey, come on, man! One member of the crew is not present. I have attempted contact several times to no avail. Ah, uh, Shamin, huh? Well. What well, you're going to do, eh, Shamin? Don't believe we met that character yet, so therefore that's a new character that we'll be introduced to, I guess, at some point. Also, there are a few characters that we've only seen once. Um, I know the girl with the black hair, I forgot her name, that has super high intuition. Like, oh my gosh, she's kind of scary because this just seems like she could get anyone on her side. Yeah, even if he were Gnosia, there is definitely one more here among us. Let's just begin today's discussions. There's one person who isn't here. It looks like Otome is going to participate, but... Yes, I'll do the best I can, squee! Round one of five. Maybe not actually Gnosia, but Stella looks kind of alien-y, don't you think? Stella, yes, Stella. Certainly feels strange. Really? I, um... It's okay, Stella. Stella, I think you're just fine. Smiling brightly, Kukushka clearly trusts Stella. My sixth sense has been whispering in my ear. Do not trust Rekio, it runs. Right? Rekio is so suspicious. Huh? Are you really doubting me? Wee Jonas, I think you're worrying a bit too much about Rikyo. A proposal. Anyone with engineer credentials, speak up. I'm the engineer, so I can work the ship systems. I'm going to look into just who hears Gnosia. I, I am the only engineer on this ship. Why would you lie like this? So either Stella or Shigemichi is the real engineer then, right? Well, I guess it's better than not knowing anything at all. Hmm. I'm about to look over the discussion log real quick. See how things played out. It's like when I'm actually reading and focusing on making voices, 
I'm not always keeping track of what's happening. So I want to actually just like peruse what happened to make sure I'm on the right page here. So Shigemichi was the first to speak up for the day's proceedings. And he pointed fingers at Stella. Shigemichi, however, is a poor liar. So I feel like he would pinged off if something happened. My Stella is all right. Otome has been speaking up a lot in defense of everybody. Jonas put suspicion on Reikio. Mm, set to ask for some information. Okay. State rule. Oh, I'm the doctor. I'm keeping my mouth shut. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna just listen one more time. Around. Um, yeah, Reikio is like super sketchy now. Huh? Are you really doubting me? I don't know if I want to defend you just yet. Wait, SQ, I think you're worrying a bit too much about Rikyo. Okay, I have to look at the data for um Otome here. If we even have any data, no. Each time you learn something about a person through discussions or private conversation, their ability values increase slightly. When a special item is updated, they will increase significantly. When a special item is updated, huh? That's interesting. I love the artwork. She's adorable. Look at her little fins in the outfit and the little car. That is so cute. <laughs> but um, oh wow, this is so. This is Shaming. I can already see what he looks like. Hmm, kind of looks a little bit douchebaggy. <laughs> I really like Gina's outfit, but uh, let's get back into the game, shall we? So, no information on Otome. Um, I, I really don't know. Comment is, she has high intuition, so usually I try to see if she says anything throughout the d discussions. Something about Shigemichi is just kind of fishy. I mean, just look at those eyes, those alien green eyes, even though you call yourself a human. That's a poor comment. I'm afraid I must stand up against Shigemichi. Hmm. <sighs> this is tough. Because I really don't want neither one of the engineers dead yet. You refuted the doubts against Shigemichi. I agree. I don't feel there is any reason to doubt Shigemichi. Smiling brightly, Kukushka clearly trusts Shigemichi. Sound of vote. Oh, I mean, you've been doing a lot of talking, but I don't really know your personality yet. Oh, hey, it's time to vote. Okay, there is a lot of people, and because he isn't at the proceedings, we can't vote for Shamin. He could totally be a dog on Gunoja, though. Um, let's see here. <sighs> can I, I was like, can I look at the data? Yes, all right. So, I want to do this a little bit more often for my own peace of mind. So, Shigemichi said, said that Stella was suspect. Rekio. You have Shigemichi and Stella. Huh. Stella does look suspicious because they also said they were the engineer. Um, Shigemichi is suspicious. If, Ka if Kama says Shigemichi is suspicious, then I have to kind of vote for him. Because like I said, she has high intuition. And unless she too is a Gnosia, chances are she's right about this. So I'm running for Shigemichi. Wow. I thought a lot more people were against Shigemichi, but I guess when I defended him, maybe it changed something. I don't know for sure. That didn't work. Um, I guess we have to vote one more time. Otome is doing a lot of talking. It's like I can't even get a read on anyone. At least not a read on anyone else. Look at the Pokeball belt. You cannot tell me that her belt does not look like a sideways Pokemon. But okay, let's see. We still don't know who our enemy is, but I've chosen not to trust Rekio. Maybe this will help me to find something out. Hmm. I guess I'll agree. There's a lot of people here. Right? Rekio is so suspicious. Oh, are you really doubting me? I like Rekio like doing Rekio's voice though. It's okay, Rekio. Rekio, I think you're just fine. Otome speaks up for everything. Let's see what happens. 
Sorry if I'm mistaken, but I feel Rikio looks suspicious. So both Satsu and Gina are like throwing Rikio under the bus right now. Is how I will look at it. I'll let this round play out. Just to gather information. Right? And SQ also is like just agreeing with whoever just to agree, I guess. Rikio is so suspicious. Ah, oh, you really doubting me? I don't want to. And Otome is always coming to his... Okay, so here... This is some... Otome could be defending Reikyo because they are also a Gunosia with Reikyo. Because I know Gunosia also pretty much like to protect people that they're in cahoots with. However, Otome has just been defending everybody. Because they also... Well, no. Stella. She defended Stella, too. I don't know. Could be an AC follower, but it's hard to say. Definitely hard to say right now. I don't know. I don't think. I think right now we're going to be making a sacrificial lamb out of someone. Is how I felt about this round. To be fair, this is how we do better. Let's start the vote. We have to eradicate the enemy. I don't know if we're going to get the enemy this round. Yeah, I saw. I uh, oh, it's not really a blowout. But if I had voted for Chippy, it would have been another tiebreaker. So. I'm actually kind of okay with this. Because I really don't feel either one of them is anyone I would have wanted to vote off right now. On a personal level. Maybe somebody out there actually feels like they were. We'll see at the end of the round. So I'm gone then. Hmm. You're all beyond salvation. Like a bunch of lemmings. But that's fine with me. I don't care. I'll accept my death sentence. In fact, I welcome it. Thank you. A little bit lonely without you. Oh, Otome has been protecting Reikyo from the very beginning. Like, literally. I don't know if that's sus or not. Dessa, can you come with me for a minute? And I feel like we've been, like, engaging a lot more with Setsu, which I am totally down for. I love Setsu. As, almost as much as I like Shikamichi. Shikamichi is fun to me. I'm going to see the guy who didn't show up today. Shaming. I'd like you to come with me. Sure. I'll do that for you. You applaud, okay. <sighs> Thanks. I didn't want to have to go see Shadow alone. To be honest, I can't stand him. Hmm. I mean, I said he was a douchebag, but <laughs> I assume you'd be coming along soon. Glasses. He's wearing two pairs of glasses. Yeah, sure, the ones on top of his head may be goggles, but that's literally douchebag material. You're wearing two pairs of glasses, two necklaces, Two long sleeve shirts and stuff. And I think his stomach is shown. Let's see. What kind of voice do I want to give this guy? All right, Setsu. How about instead of all the formalities, you just give me one hot kiss right here, huh, babe? <laughs> I don't know. Shamin, how many times do I have to tell you? Stop treating me like that. Yeah, well, I still totally hit that. So anyway, who's here? Never seen you before. Douchebag. <laughs> but more like a playboy, if anything. I don't know. It's hard to get a read on this guy so far. State your name. Don't state your name. Mm, there's no reason for me not to, I guess. You introduced yourself to Shaming. That's a huh? Okay, I'm Shaming. You could call me Ming. Shaming, listen. I'm just going to get right into it. You didn't show up to the Gunos um strategy meeting just what were you doing i was rubbing one out so oh my god tmi information sir nobody needs to know what you do in your spare time in the freaking arcade room i shouldn't have asked let me rephrase the question why didn't you show up why should i say something wrong and i might get targeted by the gunosia end up getting wiped out right look i don't want to stand out you feel me Shaming has extremely high stealth, making him less likely to be targeted by Gnosia. Also, his comments don't cause him to stand out much. <laughs> I mean, I guess they're stereotypical lines for this kind of certain do do um type personality. I guess, but I mean, it kind of makes him stand out. It's, I mean, especially compared to the little army of people we already have. If you don't like it, how about you vote for me and send me off into the freezer? I'd rather get frozen for a while than get totally wiped out. Shaming, you can't just do whatever you please. You better come to the discussion tomorrow. Yeah, nope, not gonna do it. 
In that case, how about I just have you leave this ship through the airlock by yourself? To pretty much su suffocate or freeze in space, I think. I don't fully know for sure what would happen, but that's not a death I want. Hey, hold up. You're basically telling me to go die, right? He has, like, sharp teeth, too, like a vampire or something. Well, yeah. You die. Okay, you sound serious. Fine. I give up. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks, Dessa. With you there with me, I was able to make it through this loop without killing Shaming. Wow. I guess you've killed him off before. <laughs> I don't know if I would say he was that bad. I can't level up anything. No. But, um, okay, let's see here. Who do I want to... Otome. We're doing a lot of talking. Squeak, that's a... That's how I like to talk to you. Last night, after being attacked by the Gnosia, SQ disappeared. Last night's cold sleep analysis revealed that Rekio was human. Mm, I figured... Doesn't mean Chippy isn't possibly a Gnosia or something, but... I don't know. So anyways, I'll be joining you guys from today. Whatever. Alright, so let's listen. Who else has a report to give? Oh, hi, it's my turn to report. Satsu was human, just like me. <laughs> okay, next I'm gonna find the Gnosia. Yes, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> my analysis was performed on a different subject. I detected irre irregularities in Kukrushka's dimensional waves. I'm afraid that Kukrushka has been infected by Gunosia. Oh, please just last until the end of this round. I don't want to go look for my charger right now. It seems Stella can't be trusted after all. Kukrushka seems to be saying. Stella can't be trusted. Right? Stella's looking kind of weird. Treating me like a liar and stuff. <laughs> I love his teardrops falling out his eyes. Oh, let's see here. Um. Day two. Oh, boy. Voting results. Doesn't tell us much right now. Nor with the crew data. Really? I, um... So Stella is suspicious, say you. But are these words spoken by Kukrushka and Verity? Or, like, not Verity? Well, basically, like Jonah said, I'm just not really feeling it, Kukrushka. <laughs> hmm. He doesn't like to stand out, but... Let's just see what happens. You stated that you too trust Stella. I guess. Stella, if something's bothering you, speak up. Stella, yes, Stella. Certainly, some something certainly feels strange. Really? I, um... So Stella is suspicious to you, but are these words spoken by Chippy? Man, come on, sir. Well, basically, like Jonah said, I'm just not really feeling it, Chippy. I don't think we should all jump on Stella like this. I just want to, like, take it easy. Okay, like I said, I'm, I usually lean towards what Comet says as she has higher intuition than most people. If she's saying that Stella is not lying, I'm putting my trust in Stella. Help me, Comet. Kakushka's gay says as much. Let's see. Team up with you, Kakushka? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Sorry. <laughs> Mm, I don't want to say anything. What's the matter, Otome? Come, don't hold it all in. Share with us. Otome, yes. Otome. Certain, something certainly feels strange. Otome or Otome? Otome? Otome. I'm not really sure how deeply to pronounce certain letters in her name. Okay. Um, let me feel strange. I agree because I thought so earlier, but I don't know this dolphin's personality. Plus, she's just adorable, so I kind of don't want to vote for her at all. You stated that you two have been doubting Otome. I mean, that is true. I have. Squee! Oh, she's so adorable. <laughs> so, Jonas is doubting Otome, right? Personally, I'm on, on Otome's side myself. Otome's side. I'm going to say Otome, Otome's. I don't know. I stated we have little reason to doubt Otome. First, 
first, we must consolidate our information. Could the doctor place that fort? Speaking as doctor, it's difficult to tell who has become Gunoja, but I could tell by examining a subject in cold sleep. What? Satsu, come on. We're supposed to be working together here. You say that you are the real doctor and that Satsu is a fake. I mean, it's true. Start to vote. It's about time to vote. Uh, we have fake Satsu as a doctor. Okay. This time, I want to just say my current round's thoughts. Okay, so I know I'm the real doctor, so Satsu is either the AC follower or Gunosha. I hold that Setsu, Setsu is, I don't think Setsu has ever been an AC follower, ever. Um, which for me that Setsu is Gunoja again. So I don't know about Setsu just yet. So let me just see if I can pinpoint one Gunoja out of the three roles that are questionable. So there's definitely one Gunoja in between Setsu, Stella, and Shigemichi. There has to be. And then there has, there could be an AC follower here. Or it could just be that both Gunoja have taken up a, imposter roles here. There's a couple of different options. Stella or Shigemichi. A lot of people was going to vote for Shigemichi earlier, but that changed. Now it seems like people are more so leaning towards Otome and... Hmm, who else was thrown under the bus a lot? Let me look at the data. It's at the end there, Stella is just, yeah, Stella. Stella was thrown under the bus as the engineer, and then Otome was also thrown under the bus. I should have voted for stupid Stella. I want to make it to the end, darn it. Yeah, this isn't an easy decision. Everyone has their own motives. You are a fake doctor, Setsu. You pointed out some questionable points about Stella. Stella, yes, Stella. Some, something certainly feels strange. They were doubting Stella earlier. Kakushka's eyes are filled with suspicion towards Stella. Really? I, um... So Stella is suspicious, saying, Yes, and I speak these words from the bottom of my heart, darn Jonas. I don't think we should uh, jump on Stella like this. I just want to, like, take it easy. I know that you're saying that Stella is, like... Legit, I get it. But unfortunately, I am um, too, and I also want to make it to the very end of this, so I have to throw her under the bus now, even if the other um, engineer is fake. Well, basically, like Jonas said, I'm, I'm just not really feeling it, Dessa. I can't say anything more. Stella cannot be trusted, says Kokrushka with her eyes. I agree. You stated that you two have been doubting Stella. Really? I, um... So Stella's suspicious. So he's not going to vote for her, and Sha Ming sounds like they won't vote for her either. I don't think we should all jump on Stella like this. That's three people for her, though. I might be gone. Oh, that's not good. I should have voted for Stella the last round. Yeah, I should have voted for Stella last round. Dang it. You've been selected for cold sleep. That's highly unfortunate. So, Shigemichi and Kukushka were the Gunoja. I knew Stella was the real engineer. I usually go with Comet. Dang, that's why I didn't really want to vote for her. Hmm. So Setsu was the AC follower this time around. Dang, because I wanted some more experience points than that. I didn't need to lose right there. But all right, I hate to end the episode on a short note like this, especially when I lost like that. But unfortunately, since my pro controller is dying, I am going to end it right here so I could go off and find that. So until next time, I hope you all enjoy this horrible, horrible run in some way, shape or fashion. I know I'm probably going to get chewed out for some of my decision making processes. But unfortunately, I also can't speak up that much as well because of how I alter, you know, aligned my points amongst my stats. It seems as though if I try to speak up too much, everyone's going to start doubting me. 
but it just seems like if I speak up even once, it's just like not good. I wouldn't make it regardless. So until next time, I hope you all have a great and wonderful day. And thanks for watching. Bye.